Thank you, Melissa. Our weekly conversations on matters of faith. Faith Time continues now. Joining us this morning is Archbishop Thomas Rohde with the Archdiocese of Mobile. Thank you so very much for joining us, sir. Thank you, Chad. All right, this is something I've been wanting to talk about for a long time, and I don't think it gets mentioned enough during this time of year. It's the connections the carnival season has to the Catholic Church. First of all, kind of talk to us about the connections between the two. All of this is focused on Easter. And, and that's why Mardi Gras, the date of Mardi Gras, changes every year because it's determined by the date of Easter, which changes every year. But Easter and Holy Thursday, Good Friday, Easter is when uh, we Christians celebrate the great event of our redemption, that the Lord's Last Supper, His death on the cross so that our sins could be forgiven, and the resurrection of Easter. And since that's such an important feast, we have Catholics and many Christians have a time of getting ready for Easter, which we call Lent. Lent's an old word that means springtime. And just as nature comes back to life, uh, it rejuvenates itself. This is a time for us to look at ourselves through prayer, fasting, almsgiving, of where do I need to live more the dignity that God has given to me by the cross and the resurrection. So these 40 days of Lent begin on Ash Wednesday when ashes are placed on our heads, that ancient biblical sign of penance. And before that, we have a party. Before we begin the serious time of Lent, we have carnival. And I learned recently that carnival means to remove meat. What is the significance of having those words in there? It comes from two Latin words, carne vale, meat, goodbye. Goodbye to meat. And because during uh, Lent, uh, as the Lord asks in the sixth chapter of Matthew, you know, when he says, when you pray, when you fast, when you give alms, it's not if, it's when. Um, Many people who observe Lent as a time of fasting from certain foods, uh, eating more simply, not eating between meals. One of the things that a number of people will give up on certain days of Lent will be meat. And so uh, to get rid of all the rich foods uh, before the serious time of Lent, there's Carnival, goodbye to Lent. And it leads up to the last day of Carnival, which is uh, to good, goodbye to meat. It leads up to the last day of Carnival Mardi Gras, Fat Tuesday. We're looking at some video of Ash Wednesday services right here. And talk to us a little bit about the significance of Ash Wednesday that follows immediately Fat Tuesday. The ashes, that biblical symbol of penance. And as ashes are placed on the head, uh, we're told, remember your dust, unto dust you shall return. That's what God says to Adam and Eve in the uh, third chapter of Genesis after the fall. It's a reminder of our need to repent of sin, but also a reminder of our, our, our mortality, that one day we will stand before God. And that's not meant to depress people. It's meant, as the psalm says, Lord, teach me the brevity of life that I may gain wisdom. And so that's really what it's all, it's all geared towards Easter. Now, I know some people uh, may not observe uh, Mardi Gras right. Carnival with the proper spirit. Uh, anything can be misused. I, I can't tell you that everyone celebrates Christmas as it should be, or Easter as it should be. Uh, but there is a, a, a message of faith that underlies all this. We're getting ready for Easter. And I know the Catholic Church, or no church really condones massive drinking or, or excessive well, this partying. This is to be a time of good, clean fun. Right. This How do time, you observe that properly? Well, it, to enjoy oneself in, in a wholesome way. You know, there are many ways that are not wholesome, but there are ways that are wholesome. And to have, you know, the Bible says there's a time for every purpose unto heaven. There's a time to laugh. There's a mind, time to mourn. There's a time to have fun. And there's a time to be serious. Before we begin the serious time of Lent, we have, have carnival. Which, by the way, begins as soon as Christmas is over. Mm. Uh, some people, when does it begin? Well, the tradition is to have 12 days of Christmas. Remember the old song? Right. And the last day of Christmas is the Epiphany. It's the day that we remember that the kings brought gold, frankincense, and myrrh to the true king, Jesus. That's King's Day. That's when Carnival begins. We eat that round cake that goes back hundreds of years. The king cake begins on January 6th. That's when we begin eating the king cake. We enjoy king cakes throughout Carnival. But it begins as soon as Christmas is over. The 12th day of Christmas, January 6th, ends on Mardi Gras. Then we get serious. Archbishop Thomas Rohde with the Archdiocese of Mobile joining us this morning for this edition of Faith Time. Thank you so very much, sir. A pleasure, Jay. News 5 this morning will continue after the break.